I don't know that was a beautiful sounding trumpet, but that's actually our killer bee header that we got for Chewy to replace the NVIDIA header. That's just, you know, not working out. If you saw the last video, it didn't work out. So before I can put that on the car, before I can put that on the car, I need to uh, get it coated with some Cerakote. Uh, since we would normally do this the easy way and just do something like, uh, like sand it, um, I'm actually gonna be redoing Mitten's header as well. Oh, that's hot. And aside from redoing Mitten's header, we're gonna be doing two turbo, um, the turbine housings. So with that being said, I gotta get out the bigger guns and I need to, uh, need to sandblast them. I don't have anything for that. So we're gonna have to go somewhere real quick and get stuff so we can sandblast them. I'll see you in a bit. So just got back from Harbor Freight. Picked up a larger compressor because our little pancake one back there is not gonna do enough to uh, be able to run this. But um, I, was, I was shooting for a better gun than this, but this is all they had in stock. So we'll try that out. And then for what we're working with, there's a couple of different types of blast media. We're gonna use aluminum oxide because uh, that should be able to um, essentially clean up the metal in the way we need it to, to prep it, to be able to Cerakote. Once I've got this all done, we're gonna use uh, this burnt bronze Cerakote. It's a C series, so the C means it's an air dry. Uh, so you don't have to bake it, you don't have to do anything like that. It just, uh, you spray it on with a gun, um, let it sit. It should be cured in a couple of hours, or I guess dry to the touch in a couple of hours. And then the curing process, the full cure, can take up to five days. So I won't put this on uh, this weekend. I'll put it on next weekend after we get this all coated. But aside from that, we're also going to be coating mittens, uh, headers that I already took the time to take off. Um, so I got these just right here. We're gonna take that wrap off and coat those. Um, I also have the two precision turbos. So the 58 millimeter for mittens and the 6466 for Chewy. Now I'm gonna take the hot sides off of and we're gonna coat those also. So now the main question I have is where do I put this compressor? Because we had that pancake compressor that's hiding underneath that bench over there. Tanner's gonna use the cherry picker for the Evo here in a little bit. Um, so we'll probably have that out of the garage soon. We don't wanna cover the electrical panel because that would be bad. Uh, so I think best case scenario is find somewhere to put this, uh, move this over and put it right here. And it's not too tall. Uh, it's only like a 26 or 27 um, gallon compressor, so we should still clear that light and have room. God damn it, and I fucking, so fucking stupid. Oh, that's what I want for my birthday. That mic? Yeah. All right, so I got this compressor in here, decided not to put the reel on there because I didn't know where the hell in the garage I wanted to put it and I would need another tiny little hose and I wasn't about to run a 50 foot hose to that reel that's only 25 feet. So I'm just using this hose right here. I did some test shooting to see if this would work and I tried it out on the Tomei up pipe, which as you know, is like super shiny and blah, blah, blah when you first get it. Um, so I've got it to where it works pretty well. So now I need to take the wrap off this and get the actual piece that I was going to use this for, which is the killer bee header, um, and do the same thing to both those. Then I got to take the precision turbos out of those boxes, take the uh, turbine housings off them and do the same thing to them. I should probably do this one first because uh, if I wind up not getting to the other stuff, I need to have this one done because it needs to fix my car. Oh God, wear gloves and a mask. I almost started doing this with no gloves on. I would have hurt. You know, this might actually be easier with sandpaper. I'm gonna bring this, those, and I'll probably get the um, turbine housings off both my turbos and bring them upstairs into my living room with uh, as many little pieces of Scotch-Brite as I have because all the places are closed now and I can't get anymore. 
um, and just watch TV and just grind it out. Just uh, trying to trying to scuff all these up. Then tomorrow morning, I can go in and spray these, and then and we start the curing time. Not doing compressor side, I may powder coat the compressor side, but we are going to ceramic coat this uh, turbine housing here. So I guess now is probably a, a good time to address as well. Uh, in the last video, at the very end of the video, I asked a question, and the question was, should we tear down Chewy, essentially decommission Chewy, and use the parts on him to make mittens work? Or should we not do that? Keep trying to keep Chewy running for now. And buy the essentially the same parts a second time um, to make mittens run and keep Chewy alive. Um, I think from the overwhelming amount of the same answer, obviously people seem to like Chewy, um, but I think everyone may not have understood exactly what I was saying. Uh, I've had Chewy for a long time. It's a very sentimental car to me. I'm not planning on selling it uh, or anything like that. We have much bigger plans for Chewy. And so all of the parts that Mittens needs uh, are all already on Chewy. The, the parts that I need to get that car running. Um, whereas Chewie's next build is not going to use any of those parts. So, ooh, that's pretty old big boy. Um, so, I think we are getting close to the point where I am probably going to pull the trigger on tearing Chewie down because if putting the killer bee header on and doing the other stuff doesn't make the car run well and it still sounds like it has issues. The only thing really holding me back is I really would like to go to Big Northwest again. Um, and I don't think I'd complete that build before that. There's no way. So um, yeah, this is this is the next step in Chewy's life. Uh, well, I actually have an engine to the left here um, that we are going to close deck at out front and do quite a few little tricks to um, and then we're going to see how much we can get out of this 6466. But for Mittens, Mittens' plan is to essentially be the daily driver uh, and take the place of Chewy as daily so I can just go ham on Chewy. Uh, so, no, none of the cars are getting sold. Um, even if Chewy blew up, I still wouldn't sell that car because it would just make the decision to start that next build uh, that much easier. So with that being said, I'm gonna take this upstairs, um, the two headers and the up pipe upstairs. I'm gonna put on a show uh, or something to distract me from how mundane and boring what I'm about to do is. And I'm going to sand all of these down with Scotch-Brite. Come here, you homie sand. You homie clean these up. Which one am I doing first? This one, we're gonna keep touching up this one. Or are you just gonna stay here and lick my face? Oh, why are you getting so mad, bud? Can you get up? That's kind of, okay. You might not be the best dog to have right here. Okay, sit. What, chill. Just chill. What do you think? You see in your head? There you go. All right, trying to be quiet because it's pretty late. Um, I was able to get the Killer Bee header all taken care of. The Tomei up pipe is done. That's ready to spray. Um, this Tomei header 
has a lot of pipes. <laughs> like a lot of pipes. Um, I I need to continue on this tomorrow because I don't I'm out of Scotch Bright. I was able to uh, get as much usage as possible out of those three little patches that I had. But I have to run out and get more tomorrow because it's just not working on these anymore. I picked up some more Scotch Bright so I can get going on this Tomei header. Uh, essentially, all I have to do is make this incredibly shiny header not shiny. So these are going to work a little bit better. These are 360 compared to um, the gray ones are like 800, so it should should scuff it up a little faster. Um, so I'm going to put a probably put a show on and time lapse again and see how quickly I can get this insanely intricate header all scuffed up. That took what felt like forever. Um, but as you can see, everything is all nicely scuffed up. Uh, I made sure through the process, I like cut long pieces to put underneath there um, and just kind of go ham on the inside of this. That's hard to reach. So it is all good to go. All right, so I'm just going to spray everything down with the degreaser. That should take all the surface stuff off it. I'm gonna spray both sides. If it's a larger part, obviously it's gonna be more work. That's why I strategically chose to pick back up this piece to show you how to do this. Then you can take it over to either the bathtub, if the part fits in the bathtub, which is what I use for most of these, uh, or your hose, and spray everything off. What's that little spot? You're pissing me off. Yeah, I guess. This is so over prepped that you really don't have to go. You put it on the rag, you take the part, you wipe the part, you're done. It's ready for paint. Uh, so I gotta sit here and shake this Cerakote for like five minutes to make sure everything inside there is properly shaken. So I'll see you back in five and we'll get to spraying these. camera I hung up both the Tomei components um, that right there is gonna be a bitch that collector because there's so much going on right there it's impossible to get in there um, I am going to go through and flip these over once they're all okay to be touched so I can get in there more and I want to get on the bottom side of this more everything else is uh, coated fine I I think coverage is good there I've already flipped the turbos and done those um, put this one upright so it'd be easier to spray all around. Uh, not the best setup, but you're working with what you got. Uh, I would recommend, I think the best setup you could have if you're doing this at home would be to have like a hook or something in the ceiling and be able to hang it up. Uh, this spray gun does not like to spray upwards. So that was a bitch and a half, which is why I hung this thing damn near on the ground to try and spray this from all angles above. This Tome looks super sick. It looks perfect until you walk around to this side and this was the side that was facing the ground and it looks like I never even coated it. So um, I had a problem with having everything set up incorrectly on the gun. I had a problem where if you tilted it any more than like straight up and down or slightly downward, uh, no, no Cerakote would come out. So I wasn't able to spray upward, which was pissing me off. But uh, I have that to where it's dialed in now and it's it's working and we're not gonna change the settings on that. So I'm gonna go through and spray all this stuff and try and get in these little cracks. I'm not looking forward to inside that because that is just very difficult. Right there sucks. 
But we're gonna do our best here, okay? This is not a professional job. This is just a, hey, I like doing things myself job. So let me get everything set up and let's get to work. Shitty paint gun, 100 mesh strainer. We got our mocha frappuccino in here. So before I just go shooting this, since I changed all of the settings and it looked good with acetone, I'm gonna check and see how the pattern looks uh, with the Cerakote. Okay, I'm a lot happier. I'm a lot happier with it this time. Um, I'm still trying to wear this mask because I have acetone inside this because you got to clean the gun right after you use it. Digging this so much more than yesterday. Now we got full coverage. I tried my damnedest to be able to spray inside that shit. That sucked. Tomei manifolds are not enjoyable. Uh, this is solid. Whoa, you fucking ghosts over here, man. Uh, this is solid. So it's gonna be all kind of tacky and look wet. Uh, turbos are already done. So I think we're solid here, boys. I'm happy with it. All right, so that being said, I am totally done doing this for now because that's got to wait like 24 hours before I can touch it. I guess maybe like two hours or something before I can touch it. But uh, before I can fully handle it, like 24 hours for the basic cure, like five days for the main cure. Hi. You know what I like? What? You know what my favorite part about running merch is? What? I wanted a new hat, so I just made I, it. Am I even pointed at you? Oh my God. Well, I wanted a new hat, right? Yeah, I'm Sorry. doing my outro right now. <laughs> oh, nice. Son of a bitch. Whoa, so, dude, that fucking vertigo effect was dope. So I wanted a new hat, so I just designed a new hat and yeah. ordered my cell phone. I liked it. I was like, I'm a... Yo, you're going to see this in the video and be like, I'm going to put this dude. up. I ate a candy bar. Sick, man. That's what I'm going to end it on. I'm going to go eat candy bars, too. Am I zoomed in still? Oh, my... Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. All right, we're solid. Uh, that's all I got for you. I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, I'm just some fucking dude on the internet. You don't have to like my shit. I will see you in the next one. I hope you learned something from this. Later.